Hey there guys, Zach here from Winbeta and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 Mobile build 10536. This build wasn't supposed to be sent out to insiders but some lucky insiders have received it and uh, there are a couple of changes in this build. So as you can see this is build 10536.1003 and uh, we're just going to be walking through these visuals were provided by uh, Michael Bowman on Twitter so thanks very much to him for the visuals. So the performance of this build is a lot better than previous. Opening apps and just using the system as a whole feels a lot more stable and a lot more smooth. Opening up a third party app such as Tweetium loads a lot faster than it used to and that's because Microsoft in this late stage of development is finally finalizing performance and making the operating system as fast as possible on all devices. This is a Lumia 930 I believe so performance should already be pretty good. One feature that has been fixed is Mobile Hotspot, so now with this build, if you are a user of Mobile Hotspots, you can finally use that feature again. So if we go into the Mobile Hotspot area, you can see here that I can now turn on Mobile Hotspots and share my cellular connection with friends or other devices quite easily. Now Quiet Hours have also been fixed in this build, so now if you're a Quiet Hours user, you can just enable Quiet Hours on the toggle. Uh, there is a new option in the developer area called USB EEM, no idea what that does but it's there and there's also a Z storage app. Now I imagine this is just a beta version of it, oh sorry, a beta version of the storage sense area within settings but it is called Z storage in this build. Uh, it doesn't look like it's anything different though, I know I'm not showing it off in this video but it is there and it doesn't look any different so it's not really anything to worry about you anyway so yes like I said this build is very it performs very well now, now the reason this build didn't get sent out to insiders was because it includes a bug which according to Microsoft would stop uh, insiders from being able to update to a newer build after this build was installed so f it was I guess lucky insiders managed to receive it it was being sent out via Windows update to a few insiders uh, and as you can see some of them have it now so there you have it guys, that's a quick look at Windows 10 Mobile Build 10536. Thanks so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one. Bye bye.